As you transition your outdoors from summer to fall, there are plenty of trees that can lend fall color to your backyard. So earlier this morning, I Skyped with Doug Danielson from Bachman's Nursery to get some tips on selecting and planting trees to enhance your fall landscape. Hey Doug, thanks so much for joining us this morning. You know, this is really, as we start to get into these cooler temps, sort of a great time to plant trees. Yes, it's a great time to plant trees with the cooler temps. It's a lot less maintenance. You don't have to water as often and the trees just love it. And you can enjoy the great fall color they're going to have for you this year. So even if you were to plant a tree now, it would still turn for you. Yes, it would for sure. Mm -hmm. You know, the maples are great for fall color service berries. It's a uh, it's you're going to enjoy the fall color. So you have a couple of options for us. Why don't we get started? Yeah, so right here on my left, I have uh, fall fiesta sugar maple. That's going to turn a brilliant kind of orange, red, and yellow color for you. It's going to be uh, just great color. With a fall fiesta sugar maple, though, you're going to need a little more space for it. It's going to get a little bigger. So you got to make sure, you know, number one tip I tell people when planting a tree is make sure you have enough space for the uh, plant that you're going to uh, put in the, uh, your yard. Mm -hmm. and, and, and it'll tell you there. I mean, if you talk to somebody, if you go to Bachman's or any garden center, they'll tell you how much space you need right there. Yeah, for sure. That's what we're here to help you out with. And, uh, you know, if you have a smaller location, we got uh, service berry here. Service berry's got great spring flowers that are white, uh, berries in the uh, summer for the birds. And then, uh, Great red fall color, you know, and another good one is you can see here the hydrangea My trees. Favorite. The hydrangea yeah. trees are in full bloom right now. Great for a smaller location. So, Doug, uh, these trees, they, <laughs> they look so young here. You get them, you get them planted. Are, are they able to really withstand if we have a cold, cold winter ahead? Oh, for, oh, for sure. Yeah, these, these trees are uh, hardy for Minnesota, so they're going to do well. And they come in all different sizes, too. If uh, These are the kind of trees that a homeowner could plant. If you're going to want a bigger tree, a lot of times you're going to want to hire a professional to do that. Right. How much water should we be giving these trees after we plant them and then through October and November? It all depends on the weather. If it's hot and dry and windy, you're, you're going to need to water more often. On average, they're going to need about an inch of water a week. Okay. Um, what I always recommend doing when you're done planting it, make sure you have a hardwood mulch over the top of it. That helps keep the roots cool, and also uh, you don't have to water as often if you have that. A lot of times when I see these new trees, I see the tree bags around them. Do you recommend that for the water? Yes, for sure. That's going to help uh, uh, water the plant for you if you're gone on the weekend or... Uh, it just is kind of a foolproof way to make sure your tree gets watered. Great. All right. Doug from Bachman's. Always great to plant a tree. Thanks so much for your tips today. We really appreciate it. Thanks for it. having me. Yeah.